Hello guys, welcome to CodeSmart. In this video series, we will be learning the framework Converge.js. By using this, we can create softwares like CAD drawing systems, paint, and web applications similar to Draw.io. We will be starting from the basics and also we will be learning the advanced concept of this framework. Also we will create a real world applications, a web application similar to draw.io which you can extend further to use as a major project in your resume. Also you can use this web application as a college project. Are you excited? So let's get started with the basics of Converge. So this is a canvas library. Uh, you can use this library to create some drawing system with HTML5 uh, and you can use it for, for your desktop or mobile applications. If you are using Angular, React or Vue, you can use this npm install Conva. So as you can see over here, these are the main features of this framework. So first of all is you can introduce animations and twins in this framework very easily. And you can do node nesting. You can handle event bubbling on your own. You can take control over all the flows of this framework. So everything is customizable. Uh, the basic things for this Conva which is this diagram. So you need to understand this diagram before starting with this framework. So first of all as you can see over here this is the node hierarchy. So every item which is present in Conva canvas is node. First of all is the stage. Stage is basically the canvas main container which you need to provide to contain all the other shapes all the other component of that canvas so first of all you need to provide stage with an id in converges you can put stage and then inside stage you can put multiple layers as you can see over here and then inside layer you can put another shape or you also can add group. Group is nothing but a collection of shape. Group can contain shape and also group can contain another group. So you can nested your group a deep level of nesting you can do with the group. And you must need to add your group to your layer. You As you can see over here, I have taken one demo from the Conva site. So as you can see, to create a Conva canvas, you need to have one div with a id. Now in the script tag, I have added the JavaScript code. First of all, you need to get the inner height and inner width of the window. So first of all, you need to create one stage. I hope you remember from this uh, diagram that first of all, we need to create stage and then we need to create layer and then we need to create either shape or group. I have done the similar way here. So conva.stage. So if you are creating any shape or any stage or layer, anything, you need to use conva and you need to pass a configuration. Here we are initiate the instance of this class, which is stage. To instantiate this class, we need some configure object. I have put container which is container this means this container will require one id or html element here i have put it container which is the id so this id is required next is width and height so i have already calculated with the window dot inner height and width now you are to create one layer because without layer we can't add any shape so we are creating conva dot layer and the layer is added so the important step is we need to add layer to the stage by stage dot add and passing the layer so there are many available shapes over there the rectangle polygon circle image text so here i have used regular polygon so this class also required a configuration object so i have passed this object so this required one xy position to show this object a particular coordinate in the canvas you need to pass this size is three so this is as you can see this is a regular polygon in conva js you need to use fill property to add the background color so here the uh, fill property will apply as a background color for this regular polygon object and we can provide stroke to black stroke means is the boundary of this object so that will be color of black and stroke width is the thickness of the boundary line 
I will show you this object in live server. So let's run this file. So as you can see, this is the object which we just shown uh, like how we created. First of all, the, the stage is there, which is invisible by the way. And there, after that, we have created layer and then we have created this object. So object we can see, but layer we can't see. Layer is virtually present over there. With, so we are adding this object onto this layer. As you can see, the field color is this and side is three. So this is the one regular polygon and we have added. And this uh, this stroke is black color. So the outside uh, border and the uh, thickness of the border is four. And one important thing is after creating the instance of this class, you need to add it to the layer. So I have added it layer dot add and triangle. Similarly, I have created the circle and circle. There is some different configuration which you need to pass. You need to provide X and Y for this uh, circle. Canvas will draw this circle object to that position. And I have passed the radius of 50. Fill color is red and stroke is black and stroke with this four. And I have also added layer dot at circle so after doing this as you can see I have two object one is circle and one is triangle let's just create another object to just uh, give you an idea let's say there is another way to set the configuration let's say I have just created this rect you can instantiate this class without providing any configuration always a good practice is to pass a name you, it will help you to identify this object now i can give a react rect dot set attributes so you can give all the configuration to here itself so this is setting attribute so let's say i'm giving x to let's say 200 and let's say y i'm giving is 150 so this position i want to draw a rectangle so now i want to fill with color let's say say yellow and we can we need to give width and height width let's say we have given let's say 240 pixel and height let's say 140 pixel and make sure to add it in the layer and add it to it as you can see you need to pass it as a number it does not allow uh, this uh, height and width property as a string so you need to provide it as a number you just need to pass 240 it will take it as a pixel one very important thing which you need to understand each object has a different point of center as you can see over here this yellow rectangle has a center which is this left top portion which is inside this red circle as you can see this left top this is the center so height and width is uh, calculated over from here so this uh, width is 240 and height is 140 this is calculated from here if you need to put anything relative to this box you can calculate from this x is 200 and y is 150 so this is the point now for the circle this is quite different for the circle the center point of the circle is the center of origin so this origin of the circle is in the center so whatever measurement you will take it's come it's need to be inside the center so this is all i wanted to tell you so that's it for this video i hope you like this video if you are new to this channel please subscribe to it i will see you in my next video thank you for watching this video